de Paris n'importe où. Bras, bras sur en chantant des chansons. Bras, bras sur de Paris n'importe où. All right, guys. I'm back in Taipei. I'm in the Sleepy Dragon Hostel, the same place I left oh those many months ago. So, you know what time it is. Time to get the trike. Now, the trike used to be in this corner right here, but uh, they moved it. I'm sure that it was right by the fire escape, probably a big problem. So they, they shifted it to a new location. And uh, it's kind of neat because the owners of this place actually bought a place downstairs and turn it into a, a really cool bar that I'm about to show you too. And the trike is sitting above the bar. I'm not sure what that means, but I think there's like probably a, a storage area above the bar and that's where the tiger duck is residing. So let's take a look and see how she looks. All my bags are there too, because I, I only grabbed what I needed in order to go to uh, USA to see my dad. So I left most of my stuff and actually I can't quite remember how much of my stuff is actually still here. So it'll be sort of like a pleasant surprise to see my stuff again. Anyways, Sleepy Dragon Hostel, the Tipsy Dragon Bar. Hey, oh hey! It's a little dusty. It's a little dusty. Was it here the whole time or did you bring it down just now? Okay. I was like, wow, your bar is pretty dusty if this so much dust came out of it. Well. It, it made it all the way through construction, not one person touched it. I think it's, it's too odd, you know? You don't know what it is. I can deal with dust. That's not a big deal at all. So we're gonna peel through that, but first, I'm gonna get a drink. Draft beers are the best. Okay, what? The menu here, if you'd like a bottle, something fancy. Everything you see on the walls here is what I've got. What's your favorite draft beer? My favorite right now is the Disco Macabre. All right, I'll have that. So Satoru here, he's the, he's the one that owns the hostel and this bar. He, he let me keep it here and he was like, you know what, you lost your dad and everything. He's like, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Such a cool, cool gesture. But it is a little dusty. I'll have to come in and clean it, but it's not, it's not like, Greasy. That that place I was at before, when I got my trike back, it was it was like sticky. It was like greasy. This is not like really greasy. This is just I just need to take a wet rag around it. I am interested to see see what's in my bag. I kind of forgot what what I have in here right now. Oh, this is my tent bag. That's right. This is where all my uh, camping gear is. So I think what I'll do is I'll bring all my bags upstairs. Tomorrow I'm gonna to go to the Ortlieb store. I'm gonna check out a few clips. I'm gonna to talk to you about the bags that I got. I'm gonna do a little bit of a review based on uh, this bag as compared to the other bag. And then these side bags as opposed to the side bags that I have uh, from Ortlieb as well. So I'm gonna go over that and uh, in detail with you guys. And then. At the end, I'm gonna take you to the Ortlieb um, uh, distribution area, and we are going to check that place out. You know what's funny is, is I left a couple of uh, drone batteries here. I have, I have a bunch of stuff that I don't need now. I have a new drone, I have new bags. All of these bags are the old bags. So them being dusty really isn't a big deal because I'm gonna send them back to Ningbo anyway. I'll be able to ditch a lot of weight, I think. But once I clean it up tomorrow, I'll take it to the Ortlieb place, get those new panniers finished, and uh, we'll be good to go. Okay, so cool. The trike looks good. I'm gonna replace the seat cover and the bags and all this, all this stuff anyway. As a matter of fact, I brought a new uh, seat cover from, from Ningbo. For some reason, the buckles here on the back keep keep breaking under the stress of my fat ass. I'm going to uh, send the old cover back to a Ningbo and then maybe someday I'll replace those buckles because these buckles are plastic and I think if I had metal buckles, they obviously wouldn't break like they do now. So um, we will uh, get the track out, clean it up tomorrow, take it to the Ortlieb store, get my panniers all set up, set aside everything that I might want to take back to Ningbo 
maybe set up a shipment to go to Ningbo or drop it off at my friend David's house so that he could kind of put it in the corner until I finish my tour of uh, Taiwan. And then when I go back to the mainland, I'll just take them back with me. Either way, the trike is safe, the trike is good. It exists, it hasn't been chopped into pieces and sold for scrap or sold to some trike mafia, which is good. I thought I'd give you a little trike introduction as I saw my trike for the first time. It's good to see you, Tiger Duck. We're gonna go great places together. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye. Next time on the Jayo Vlog. Oh, thank you. What's this for? Wash your trout. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> so I'm uh, riding to an Ortley distributor. Oh.